I grew up playing RuneScape. I wasn't good at it, but I played it a lot. Computer viruses from downloading Dragon Scimitar mouse cursors, getting lured and losing my ruin armor, getting hacked because I said my password backwards, none of it stopped me. I even remember my dad telling me to step away from the computer to watch the election of the first black president. But I was in the middle of the desert without a water skin and actively taking heat damage, so I had to decline that offer. I used to wake up at 2 in the morning, log in, and then play until 8 when my dad would get home from work. I was 9 years old. During one of those late night sessions, I even met the noob show and fought his clan in Clan Wars. I used to make RuneScape music videos in Windows Movie Maker. RuneScape holds a huge place in my childhood memories. And a huge part of that was running the game on Internet Explorer with a bunch of clunky taskbars on Windows XP. So now, in 2025, I wanted to see if it was possible to relive that nostalgia by running RuneScape on Windows XP. So I started by downloading and installing a ISO of Windows XP from the Internet Archive. I'm running this in VMware, which is a virtual machine. So basically, I have a computer within my own computer. It uses my own IP address and my own network connection. So I have to be careful because Windows XP has absolutely no security. VMware also uses the host computer's RAM and memory. So the first thing I did is that I got distracted and decided I was going to try and create an intro for this video on Windows Movie Maker within Windows XP, but I immediately crashed VMware, so I had to restart it. So in order to make this video, I had to download an additional plugin to VMware called VM Tools, and that allows me to drag files from the host computer directly into the virtual computer. That MM file is the test file. And as you can see here, I tried to open up the intro again, and it crashed my computer again. The first thing I did is that I tried to use Internet Explorer, and it just really wasn't working for Google or Yahoo or MSN. Uh, the only thing it really could work on is the OpenNet, which is a website that is built to look like the 90s. So I dragged in an older version of Firefox that would run on Windows XP, downloaded it on my computer, and it works. I was actually very surprised at how well Firefox worked. It even played videos with audio on YouTube. I would go on to get distracted again, not only watching my own videos, but looking up creators from the mid-2000s that one would have watched on Windows XP. I specifically looked up Smosh and Fred and Ray William Johnson, but then I realized it was time to get back to work, so I went on the RuneScape website and realized my virtual memory is way too low for modern websites, even on this browser, and my browser starts to crash. The website eventually does load, but I realize that if I'm going to do anything, I need to raise my virtual memory. So I raise it to 8 gigabytes, which is the maximum recommended, and start up VMware again. So I go on the old school RuneScape website, and I'm going to see first can I still play it in the browser? Will being on Windows XP trigger something to where I can play in the browser? And of course not. That's not going to happen. So I try to download the old school RuneScape clients. And we knew that was going to happen. I didn't really have high hopes for that, but I had to try. This is a 32-bit system. That is a 64-bit file, so it will not work. So I decide I'm going to try Ruin Light. And look at that, it has a 32-bit option. I'm ecstatic at this point. I think this is gonna work. So I go in and I install the 32-bit option. I go to run it on my computer, and my heart's pumping at this point, and who are you kidding? We all knew that wasn't gonna work. It's not gonna be that easy. So I actually download the very first version of Ruin Light from GitHub. 
and that just doesn't work. It requires me to download a specific version of Java, and it brings up this website, but none of these options work. So I download a newer version of Ruin Light, but that still has a 32-bit option. I try a bunch of different versions of Ruin Light. I try and run it in a bunch of different compatibility modes, but nothing. Then I realize I actually have a laptop that natively runs Windows XP with an old version of RuneScape on this, because I attempted this a few years ago before I knew what a virtual machine was when Jagex still offered the old school Java client. So I put that file onto a USB drive and then I put the file into my virtual machine and I downloaded it and it worked. It actually downloaded on my computer and then it started running. I had so much hope at this point. And look, it's actually updating. It says 1999 to 2025, even though the Java client has been fully depreciated since 2024 and it hasn't even gotten updates for almost three years. This is at four times speed, by the way. And you'll notice it actually plays the updated music that Jagged just put into the game for sailing. So at this point, I'm 100% sure that this is going to work. So I create a new character. I'm going to make a series, XP Man only. I even see, do I want it to be more classic, Windows 95, Windows 98 style? I decide no. Windows XP is a little bit more nostalgic for this time period. So I log in. darkness and it does bring up the welcome back page but I leave this for about 20 minutes and nothing happens I try again on a an account that is not new because maybe for some reason a new account just isn't working on the old client and I forget to censor my email so sorry about that and it freezes again so the next thing I do is try and reduce the graphics demand on Windows XP. I reduce the graphics drastically. And even though it looks like crap, I think it's going to work. Is it going to work? No, it's going to stay like this. It's frozen. I go back into the options on VMware. I make sure that 3D graphics are accelerated. I make my graphics memory the maximum it can and just nothing works. So at this point I give up and I decide okay next best thing maybe we can run a private server right? So I log into 2004 Scape which is a 2004 RuneScape based private server that I did a series on back in February, Tutorial Island the Dragon Slayer and it loads forever. It does not work. I keep this for 20 minutes and it doesn't work. This is the next day and I was looking through some old files and I realized I had an old version of OS Buddy. OS Buddy no longer exists, but I figured I'd try it and no, it did not work. I also realized I had an older version of the RuneScape launcher, so I decide let's try that. We, I reinstall the RuneScape launcher. I believe this is going from 1.27 to 1.25. It brings up the same page, the Play Now page. I double click. And this one doesn't even open. However, throughout this entire process, I am noticing that the character is logging in. So a connection is being made between Windows XP and Jagex. So I decided I wanted to see, will this character appear in game? And there he is! He's actually here! Windows XP Man! He may very well be the first player logging in from Windows XP since, I don't know, the beginning of Old School RuneScape in 2013? Did Windows XP even still have support in 2013? I don't remember. I'm gonna look it up right now. Okay, I just looked it up. Windows XP Extended Support ended in 2014. So I am pretty confident that this may be one of the first people 
from Windows XP to log in to RuneScape in over a decade. I went to go talk to him to say something for a screenshot and then he disappeared. It was most likely Jagex's security detecting that he was logging in from an unsecure old depreciated client on an unsecure old depreciated operating system. And that's it. The question of the video was, can you play RuneScape on Windows XP in 2025? And the answer is no. For now.